Gordon. Ray, another clean sheet and three points away from home. You must be delighted. Yep, we've had, uh, we've had definitely a, a tough start away from home, three away from home. Three, two long, long journeys in a week and, uh, you know, another great three points today. How pleasing was it? The clean sheet again, that's four, four in a row now yeah, since the league started. Um, yeah, I thought the first half, it was probably more a game of two halves the way the game planned out. I thought the first half, you know, we started the game really brightly, controlled it. We had a wee spell where we, we didn't control it and then we had another spell where we did control it and could have scored two or three goals. So, you know, very pleasing the first half and uh, second half slightly different. Um, you know, we probably had to show more character yeah. in terms of uh, working hard off the ball. They're a threat, they're a good side, Elgin. They've got some lovely players. and uh, But, yeah, delighted with the three points away from home. Um, as I said, I think it's been three away, three away from home and one at home. So to go and get the, the, the victory day is great. We're delighted with that. You brought Ross McLean in on the back of his goal last week. He had a, a huge impact in the first half. Yeah, we, listen, we wanted to stretch the game today. We wanted to make sure we had a good uh, uh, impetus. And yeah, listen, I thought I thought Ross was excellent today. Like uh, the second half, we had to dig in. So we didn't actually see too much more of the, the attacking flair. But listen, a great three points again. You know, we have to say this, a tough place to come. You know, they went down and beat uh, Strandrar 4-1 down there. They've got you know got some good players up here. And uh, so, you know, listen, we're very pleased with that after the, after the, the journey and things like that. And it was two terrific performances by Michael Doyle and Tommy Robson at fullback. Yeah, listen, I thought they were great. Um, they've got you know, athletic players against them. I thought Tommy was brilliant. Um, he never gave his player a sniff, you know, and uh, won all his tackles. And also in the first half, gave us a lot of impetus going forward with the part. And Michael was solid enough at the right back as well. So, listen, we're delighted. It's, as I said, we've had three, when we looked at the fixtures at the start of the season, we had three away and one at home. And, uh, you know, we're sitting top of the league with 10 points and uh, another good victory away from home. So, that, we just need to keep building on that. How pleasing is it now that when the squad seems to be taking shape, you're able to make three changes today? How big a factor is that going forward? Yeah, well, listen, we, we, we want to utilise the squad. That's what we have a squad for. Um, it's always it's always dangerous to change a winning team. Um, but we felt today we wanted to give people the opportunity to come in, make sure that they, they were hungry to play. And, uh, and we'll continue doing that. that. That's what the squad's for. Um, it's important that we have good players that can come in and compete. And the three changes today, you know, it's great. We've won the game, so you know we'll keep we'll keep using that policy. But um, like I said, we're we're all just delighted in there that we're we've had another victory. And it sets us up nicely for a very difficult tie back at Hamden on Tuesday night. Yeah, listen, we've got two good games coming up at Hamden, and uh, you know we'll probably utilise the squad a lot more now. Um, you know, there's a couple of young lads that we're going to utilise on Tuesday. Um, they never travel today, and the guys that probably didn't start the game will probably play on Tuesday. So we're going to use these games to make sure that everybody's got their match fitness at the full strength. So come at the back of these two Betfred games, uh, the the whole squad's flying for the league. And then just lastly, we heard a rumour flying about that you had the most luxurious room in the hotel last night. Is that right? <laughs> I can only say I had. Uh, We'll not say it. it's a complete opposite, that's a fact. But yeah, I'm not complaining, I got a good night's sleep. Thanks very much, Ray. Cheers, Thank guys. you.